For any right triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, where C is the longest side, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Chances are you've encountered the Pythagorean theorem before. It describes a relationship between the side lengths of a right triangle. This relationship has been known for thousands of years, so it should be no surprise that hundreds of different proofs have been discovered. One of my favorite proofs of the Pythagorean theorem is a proof by rearrangement. It's commonly attributed to Pythagoras himself, but historians aren't sure whether or not he really came up with this proof. Certainly, the Pythagorean theorem was known to Babylonian, Egyptian, and Chinese scholars well before Pythagoras was even born, so it's possible that this particular proof predates him as well. Anyway, here's how it works. Examine this shape. Notice we have two squares, the white areas in this folded figure. Let's call the side length of the bigger one A and the side length of the smaller one B. Their areas are, of course, A squared and B squared, respectively. There's also two rectangles here, and we can divide each into two triangles with side lengths A, B, and a long side that we'll call C. Here's where the rearrangement part comes in. We're not going to change the shape of all of the parts, just how they're positioned relative to each other. I'll be moving those four triangles into a new configuration. This second folded figure is the exact same size as the first. That is, it's a square with side length A plus B, and contains the same four triangles, except that this time, the triangles are arranged around the circle, one in each corner. The white part in the middle is a square with side length C. In other words, its area is C squared. But remember, all we did was rearrange the parts. It must have the same area as these two squares from before. C squared is equal to the sum of A squared and B squared. And this will work no matter what size triangle we start with. Pythagorean theorem, beautifully proven. If you're wondering how I know that these figures I folded are the exact same size, click through to this video to see my calculations and detailed folding instructions. You can also check out this video by Vihart that shows another, albeit somewhat impure, way of proving the Pythagorean theorem by folding paper. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more foldable math.